Welcome back. All right, so quick news of the day video to close things out today. Uh, Gabe Velarde, so avoiding arbitration. We've got a couple more players who have done so today, starting with Gabriel Velarde with the Winnipeg Jets. He signs a two-year deal worth $3.4375 million per season. So very precise numbers there. Uh, and that does avoid arbitration. I love Gabe Velarde's game. I think he's a solid player. I think with Winnipeg, he could score 55, 60 points somewhere in that region. And so, yeah, he avoids arbitration. Good on him. Uh, also avoiding arbitration, Brett Howden of the Vegas Golden Knights signing a two-year deal, $1.9 million per season. Howden, of course, having a, a Stanley Cup ring. And Vegas basically keeping the band together, minus Riley Smith, Maybe a couple others, but yeah, Vegas, uh, really, everybody kept together. And uh, with Howden at $1.9 million, doesn't really hurt the team at all. Uh, so the NHLPA, in, in their continuing negotiations with the NHL, which it's always going on in the background, right? Uh, they're focused on 2026 Olympic participation, and they're looking at a World Cup as well. Uh, now, I don't think a World Cup anywhere near the Olympics works because you're then looking at two tournaments within months of each other, so it gets a little bit much. If they go to the Olympics in 2026, I would think a World Cup in 2028. It should be every two years we see an international tournament. Ideally, we'd have the Olympics every four years and a World Cup every four years. I remember the Canada Cup working in a similar fashion. Uh, and that was without Olympic participation by NHL players at that time, of course. But it was it was fun. Uh, it was fun, but you have to have that separation between the tournaments. So uh, the NHLPA looking at that, and that is a priority after missing the last Olympics, of course. Uh, Patrick Liney asked about Mike Babcock, saying that he's had discussions with the new coach, the Columbus Blue Jackets, not saying what those discussions entailed, but saying that he likes that Babcock is honest. And that he's he's a tough coach, and he's looking forward to playing for him. So I, I will be interested to see how things start out for Columbus. Like if they start out with like a seven and three record, or even six three and one, uh, there'll be a lot of buzz quickly. But if they start out poorly, uh, I do wonder what happens with the Columbus Blue Jackets. And do you then see a change on the blue line? Do you see a change in net? Do you see a change up front? And I mean the forward group. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how things go for Columbus, but Line saying all the positive things, which I will admit, yes, when you have a new coach in a new city, very often, you know, players will be pretty positive about the new guy coming in, because it's not not like a team's got to hire a coach, and then the star player's going to be like, yeah, we really didn't want this guy. So, at any rate, uh, Line A positive, let me know your thoughts regarding that in the comment section below, as always, if you're a Jets fan. Are you excited to have Velarde on the team? And is that a good cap hit? I think it is, but we'll see. Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.